morning thought I'd do another little car update video seeing as I'm up pretty early and it's sunny as sin it's quite nice sat here what is it half six I've been here since six up at five this morning do you know when you just wake up you're just like what the hell so anyway yeah uh, I was up pretty early this morning um but yeah I hope um I hope everyone enjoyed the podcast last night and I hope it wasn't too I don't know man I always feel a bit weird when um well, I don't know, like, you, you almost, like, get too real, do you know what I mean? Not that they were too real, or all, but it's just something that, like I said on the podcast, I've alluded to a few times and never really got into much detail about. I mean, to be fair, there's a hell of a lot more to talk about um, on that front, do you know what I mean, in terms of what went, you know, all the stuff that surrounded making that record, good and bad, like I said. But yeah, I'm on my phone this morning, so the video quality won't be as good as it usually is, but... There you go, it's alright, it's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, what did I want to say? A couple of things really. Um, obviously, talking about this this instrumental record mainly. I don't know when I can start like talking about the title and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? I mean, it's I've got all that sorted, but I don't really want to jump any guns in terms of releasing any details really. Obviously, if you know, I'll follow management's guidance on, on that sort of thing, really. But yeah, it's going fucking hell, man. I know I made a video recently about it, but yeah, it's just an absolute dream come true, do you know what I mean? It's just sounding so fucking good. It's sounding unbelievable. Um, well, we've, got, we've got six six tracks finished now. Six tracks finished, bar a couple that may have, like I say, some, some little sort of guest vocals on. Um, but like, there's time for that to come together anyway, in terms of when we're when I'm planning to release or whatever. But yeah, I, I think one thing that I wanted to say was, um, you know, I, I know I did that video on that guitar, that Yamaha guitar, that thing. Honestly, it just gets better and better. It's, you know, this entire record, I've used, um, you know, any acoustics. It's just been that. That like Yamaha, um, you know, it's got such an unbelievable. Well, it's just made so well. The electronics are done so well that, you know, you plug straight into what's called a high Z input on a decent interface like that Apollo I've got. You know, you don't even have to mic it up. Do you know what I mean? You, you don't even have to mic it up. You just plug it straight into DI and go straight into um, an interface. You just get such fucking amazing sound. So yeah, this entire record all the acoustic guitars is going to be um that yamaha basically and you know it's not letting me down it's not letting me down at all every time i plug it in it's just like god's sake it sounds amazing um you know and that it it sounds amazing when you play it just unplugged with all the reverb on and everything but then you know sort of going into a really high quality digital audio workstation it sounds fucking incredible as well just straight out of the di so yeah i mean massive shout out to yamaha for that and i'll be no doubt um going to further lengths to just go on a gush about how much i love that guitar just makes things so easy man do you know what i mean like usually when you're recording acoustics it's and don't get me wrong i still could have done it that way i could have set up loads of different mics, different positions in different rooms and got the absolute best sound, but fuck it man, do you know what I mean? Like, you don't need to, you know what I mean? It's, we're not, don't get me wrong, in an ideal world, yeah. But you know, that all comes down to budgets and things like that and you know, the way me and James are doing it at the moment, it's just absolutely perfect and it, you know, it, it's of no detriment to the record. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of purists who wouldn't hear of it, but what can I say, man? Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a brave new world, isn't it? It's a brave new world and you don't need to be locked up in bloody three grand a day studios, you know, trying 20 different mics in 20 different micing positions at bloody different angles and off centre, on centre. One, one mic on the centre of the cone, the other mic off centre, all that sort of shit, an ambient mic, do you know what I mean? That is the best way of doing it, but like I say, that's all comes down to budgets and things like that. Somewhere. Um, 
So yeah, the way we're doing it, and you know, I'm recording my uh, my guitar I'm using my Axe FX. Do you know what I mean? Straight into this Apollo. It just sounds fucking outrageous. A stereo, you know, uh, taking a stereo out. Um, just sounds so nice. So yeah, we've got six tracks finished now. Um, still kind of haven't decided exactly how many I'm going to have on the record. I sort of envisaged envisaged eight. That's what I thought. Um, but there's all sorts of things to consider. Do you know what I mean? In terms of like how long a side of vinyl is and things like that. Although I'd rather not let that be the deciding factor on how many tracks go on. Do you know what I mean? In terms of making sure it fits. Whether you know whether we're doing two two sides of vinyl. Um, not quite sure yet. All that stuff to be worked out. But that's all fun and games, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's all the that's all the fun stuff. Um, you've got the front cover, front cover sorted now, which just looks absolutely incredible. Honestly, I cannot wait to have this thing in my hands. I absolutely cannot wait. You know, just, just for my, just like I said in the other video, just for my own benefit, really. Just to be like, wow, well, can help you know, my own solo record. It just, it means a ridiculous amount to me as. I'm sure it will be evident from all the videos I've made and the way I've spoke about stuff. You know, it's a dream come true for me. Like I say, you know, and even if it's only heard by, well, you know, the people who want to hear it or people who are following me or whatever, you know, like it's not the point. The point is it just the the process of making it and how cathartic that is and how much of a sense of achievement it gives me, sense of accomplishment and how fulfilled it makes me feel and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's all I've wanted to do for years, man. Years. Every, you know, since, since the music stopped, it's all I ever wanted to do. I just didn't think anyone would care. And you know, that leads me on to wanting to make another video, really, about, about self-belief, really. And how much of a commodity it is and how, how hard it is to come across and yet when you do come across it you're like how the hell have I how, you know how, have I, how has this been a problem when you suddenly get that you know that uh, shot in the arm or whatever that makes you believe in yourself it's strange to think that you, you once didn't do you know what I mean but here we are anyway you know I've said a lot that I feel like I've wasted a lot of time, but I suppose as long as you as long as you realise that before it's too late, I don't think it matters. Do you know what I mean? Whatever. But yeah, it's um it's Friday morning, it's nice and sunny, but I don't think it's gonna stay that way looking at the forecast. But yeah, working with Dave again today. Still doing me two days a week, like I say, and it's just it's good because it gets me out, breaks everything up breaks everything up um, and it's just good to be outside man in fresh air do you know what I mean and then I'm not sort of just locked in my studio all the time you know I'm sort of splitting that with being out and about with Dave getting a taste of being out in the world all that stuff like I said before you sort of get a feel for the world turning when you you know when you're going out and doing stuff and seeing people going about their lives I think it's a valuable I think it's a valuable feeling and worth worth quite a lot you know even when sometimes especially like on shittier weather days you're like oh god i just want to be in my studio writing but you know you got to keep perspective and and realize what you know what this sort of thing is actually doing for me it sort of turns around mental health and things like that and again just getting fresh air and all that i mean that's never going to be bad is it um what else do i want to talk about no, I think that's about it for now. I'll probably make a, another dedicated video to this Yamaha at some point. Talk a bit more about that, just cause, like I say, because it's just making everything so easy. You know, I, I, I was worried about the practicalities of getting really good audio for this record and making sure it sounded great. It's not going to be a problem. Sounding absolutely insane. So, yeah, nearly, you know, in theory anyway, nearly nearly finished now, nearly finished. As I say, it's just whether finish on eight songs or whether might sort of record 10 and then use eight and have two 
substitute, you know, just a little bit of choice or whatever, but I don't really know. Don't really matter too much. We'll work that out. I suppose, you know, a little bit depends on James' schedule and things like that, but because there's no mad rush on this, um, you know, I'm hoping that schedule won't play any sort of role, really, because there's enough time for for stuff to happen. Um, but yeah, what else did I want to say? Bit of a band rehearsal on Sunday. I think that's the plan anyway. Pretty sure we're um, the music are rehearsing on Sunday, I think. Well, pretty sure they are anyway, otherwise I'm going to be turning up going, where's everyone? <laughs> so yeah, um, what time's it now? It's quarter to seven. Going to Dave's at about quarter past seven, get out, you know, sit around till half seven, wait for him to come out and then we'll crack on. But yeah, I'll leave it there, just a uh, really small little update video. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing, I hope everyone's doing well and, you know, keeping safe and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Nice one. Speak to you in a bit.